Today, Florida lawmakers started debating House Bill 1. It's a top priority for Governor DeSantis, who says state law needs to be tougher when it comes to violent protesters and those who would defund the police. Critics say the state already has laws on the books to prosecute violent offenders, and the bill would only erode First Amendment rights. 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser shows you why Hillsborough State Attorney Andrew Warren is among those who are critical in urging lawmakers to reject this bill. This is a solution in search of a criminal justice problem. Hillsborough State Attorney Andrew Warren wrote this letter to state lawmakers asking them to ignore what he calls misleading rhetoric behind Florida's House Bill 1. There's so many things wrong with this bill. It's hard to know exactly where to begin. Warren says the proposed law doesn't provide any new tools to identify and prosecute lawbreakers who riot, loot, or commit violence. Instead, he says it chips away at First Amendment freedoms of speech and peaceful assembly, creating guilt by association. If, for example, you go to a Bucks game and there are 50,000 people there, and after the game, a bunch of people are celebrating the win or mourning the loss together, and a handful of people do something bad, this law would make it so that every single person who is there at that public disturbance is guilty of participating in a riot. That is ridiculous. Last year, we saw cities ruined by violent mobs. Governor Ron DeSantis has made House Bill 1 his top legislative priority. The bill expands who can be charged as a felon during protests and gives law enforcement broader arrest powers. A responsibility some, including Polk Sheriff Grady Judd, have said they support. This is a peaceful protest. This is a riot. We can tell the difference. If passed, Warren says the law would likely be challenged in the courts. He concedes it's unusual for prosecutors like himself to get involved with political matters at the state level. But he says in this case, he felt compelled to say something. The reality is that there are a lot of good bills floating around in Tallahassee that address real criminal justice problems with serious solutions. This isn't one of them.